Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. When we last left off, we checked out some new awesome items from the Pirate's Cove DLC, actually, and made some, some progress on our adventures here. And I believe I did promise that we, in the next episode, would check out this adventure and we'll leave that jerk-off Black Knight for uh, perhaps another time. So we have the Curious Crypt, and uh, we have to get to the Ritual Chamber in time. Who do we want to bring on such an adventure? I think Tommy can take a rest. You know who we haven't used in a while? We haven't used a, a mime in a while. Why don't we bring a mime on this adventure? Smiles it is. Alright. What have we got? Around the corner is what's playing now. So we have to get to the objective, which I believe is going to be this room marked in blue here, I suppose. So... We have 10 turns to get there. Hmm. Well, they didn't really... Well, actually, I guess that's not true. I was going to say they didn't give me much in the way of rooms, but they really kind of did. <laughs> Let's fight a scary spider. Oop! All right, I forgot I'm not a bruiser. Well, it doesn't matter. They're all... They're all scary in their own way. <laughs> Pointing behind you. That'll get them smiles. You, uh... You just keep being... You keep being you. What do we think? He's got a drain. Let's copycat him. Maybe he's got another drain and we can cancel this out uh, next turn. Spook! Spook's actually not a bad card. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll hang on to that. Hit him with this stage presence, I suppose. I hate to say it, but uh, that uh, one drain might have screwed us a little bit here. Um, Let's imaginary box that. And he's got a claw. So we will, uh, now we will spook him for extra damage. Okay, we're a little bit ahead now. Now he's got a spook, but I think we're going to be okay here. I think. Depends on whether or not he gets another drain. He did not. All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, and that spook gets shuffled into our deck or something? Is that what happened? Interesting. Anyway, what do we get? I don't even really know what to look for. Let's get some defense, I suppose. The wooden boar is a pretty... pretty good card. Although I probably should have... First, we need to grind the goblin skulls. I guess that's important for any dark ritual, really, when you think about it. Yeah. The wooden board will help against these, these enemies, at least. I'm not sure which ones will fight, if any, but... Uh, We'll see. We'll see how it goes here. That's a that's a new enemy, a shade. Tenacious and a night owl. We know what those do, but he's got spooky four and death five. Hmm. Some fairly powerful enemies in here. We didn't really get any uh, cards to allow us to to progress here, so that's not quite so good. But hopefully next turn. Now this guy's got an F and drain. We can't block it, so imaginary cannon. It is. That almost seems a little bit piratey in itself. A drain card, which we really, really can't do anything about. Um, I guess let's use this to stack up some damage for next turn. And hopefully cancel that out. Um, yeah, there we go. I think we're still sort of in the lead here a little bit. I'm going to get rid of his spook card. And then he's got an unblockable bite, which is fine, but I'm going to hit him with another stage presence here. And see what I can make him discard. I'm going to get rid of that again. I can handle some bites, that's fine. And we can actually even just bullhorns him. Doesn't really matter that we can't block it. There we go, alright. Alright, spyglass again. However, um, this only works for physical attacks, <clears throat> of which we have very little, if any. Like one, I think we have like one physical attack, bullhorns. So with that in mind, um, let's instead, let's take the, uh, hmm. Let's take the ruffled shirt for now. And we're going to get some loot out of this as well. We can get the tricorn, which is really, really quite good. Hmm. Well, if I knew we were going to get this, I might have actually not taken the the ruffled shirt, but... Yeah, so let's take the tricorn. 
No, we actually still look kind of piratey. <laughs> Next, mince 30 spider legs, he says. All right, here we go. Yeah, we want that to go down there for sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. All right. We got, uh, we got that. And actually, we can put another thing right here. So that's good. Because I don't want to go through these fountains if I can avoid it. I just kind of want to go straight down, I think. And I guess let's fight another scary spider because we, uh, we don't really have anything else I feel like we can fight. I certainly don't want to fight that shade without being at least level 3. So he's going to hit me with a drain. Ah, but we have some physical damage now, so we're going to be doing a little bit better, I think, against uh, against this particular enemy. Although that uh, second drain is a little bit obnoxious. Let's um, let's copycat him. Let's get his next card. What's it, what's it going to be? It's going to be awesome. It is actually a pretty good card. It's one of his better cards, in my opinion. Um, can't block that, but we can stage presence him. And uh, yeah, let's take that neurotoxin out of the uh, out of the picture. And a claw. I think actually, if we just use this, we'll win. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good. All right, what do we got? We got the Koopa. We got a twig. I guess we're gonna take the twig. It's not a bad card per se, really. It's not amazing either, but there we go. Pirate's life for me. Oh, where did he leave his toads? All right. Um, yeah, actually, right here. Boom. There we go. Now our path is uh, our path is clear. So I'm gonna put one of those down there, uh, just so we can fight the fire elemental at level three at least. Uh, but I'm not gonna put anything else down because we there's no boss. We just have to get to the uh, the exit. So as long as I feel like we can kill the fire elemental, really, uh, we're in good shape at that point. I think. Let's see, Drain, uh, I guess we will stage presence him. I do like the Mime's kind of like hand control abilities. He just got really like very little defense. So if you can shore that weakness up over the course of the um, over the course of the adventure, then you got a character that's pretty fun to play, I think. Let's see, he's going to throw some bites. We don't have our dice card. Um, I'm going to, I guess, copycat him. That's fine. I think we'll be able to kill him next turn, so... Oh, actually, maybe not, now that he has that. Um, yeah, that is a little bit of a problem. Uh, but I will... still slice him. I don't think he has any two damage cards, yeah. He does have a fucking drain card. However, I think we'll still kill him with that. Yes. Good. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Jeez. All right. Leatherbound tome, pigeon nest, and a wooden board. Uh, I think we're going to keep the board. And I don't want that. So let's just sell this and uh, we'll take some gold. All right. Down we go. And yeah, nothing else really that needs to be put down. So let's go ahead and fight this skeleton. Waving your pretend sword, you got a twig, man. It's good enough, I hope. We can actually block that. Maybe I should have saved that for something a little more dastardly, like a uh, um, a neurotoxin or, or what is it, like head bash? I think is is the one. I guess we'll uh, hit him with one of those. Head blow, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I actually am gonna. Ooh, man, this is a toughie. I am gonna block that. I did not remember that he had drain, though. That's kind of bad news. So, uh, I'll imaginary cannon him. We might lose this. It's gonna be very, very close. Too close for comfort, in fact. Um, if we... Hmm. I'm, like, tempted to block that, but... Oh, boy. I think I'm not going to, though. I don't I don't think it's going to do us any good. <laughs> uh, yes, let's get, that, get rid of that drain card. I'm glad I played that card so far. <laughs> um, we'll bash him. Takes that damage. And could we just get, like, our shift card? Oh, we got our shift card, but it doesn't matter because this motherfucker has a spook. Damn it. Oh, no. 
Poor Smiles. This is the Guild of Dungeoneering, where Dungeoneers all come to die. One by one, they're disappearing. So now you should say <laughs> goodbyes. All right, there's our breakdown. Poor Smiles. So close, yet so far. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna, what are we gonna call this guy? What, uh, what other names did I use? Um, I don't know. I was thinking, sort of trying to think back to my, my, uh, Darkest Dungeon playthrough, what I, what I named my jesters. Because they seem sort of sim thematically similar. Um, call this guy Laffles, I guess. How's that? Um, let's go ahead and try another adventure, though. Or actually, it's, this episode's going to be... Actually, probably, we don't have time for another adventure. My apologies, didn't mean to get your hopes up there. But, uh, we will... I think in the next one, let's, let's try... Let's, like, take it back a notch. Try to get the Black Knight and see if we can get that, that gold to get a new Dungeoneer. Uh, more, possibly more powerful Dungeoneer in our, uh... Nice little uh, party here, and uh, then we'll go back to the, the evil lich. So I think that's the plan, and until next time, my name is Ben Rojo, and thanks for watching.